Good afternoon, everybody. We are back. 34 degrees outside. Cloudy Friday. I mean, it is the weekend now. We got Chris first in the chat. What's going on, Chris? Paul, Chris, Paul, Chris, Paul. How you doing? Chris Paul. That's actually a real person. What's going on, Chris and Paul? Nick F, man. Good afternoon to you. Good evening, Pringleton. Haven't seen you in forever. What's going on, Pringleton? Old Rounder Paul, Rich O. We got Chris, Rich O, Chris, Next Level. All of you guys. Thank you very much for being in here. Hopefully, you're having a great day. We have got. Let's take a look at the market really quick. My goodness. If you guys did not see Cosmos today, Cosmos absolutely wild. Look at this day, first of all. Look at this day right here. $23.01 close. Volatility after hours is continuing on. 2160, 2190, 2160, 2190, 2150, 2160, 2160, 2150, 2150, 2050, 2030, 2020, 2020, 2040. It's absolutely insane what's going on here. But that day right there doesn't even show you the extent of it because this goes from three dollars to twenty dollars if you look at the intraday action here look at this graph nothing but gains all day okay but look at this graph here pre-market 20 cents per share pre-market 20 cents per share to 23 dollars per share Insane gains on Cosmos today after getting basically rug pulled with uh, with a reverse split yesterday after hours. Waking up this morning, watching it go, watching it dump down from where it. I don't even know where it is in this this chart here. You got to go back and find it. I, I think Weeble might be messed up. It's so crazy right now. Uh, absolutely getting ripped during that reverse split and nothing but shooting higher now after hours i have no idea what's going to take place guys it could absolutely come back down and be devastating if you're in it taking profits awesome if you guys are planning on holding out good luck to you but my goodness got to point that out right there 100xing in a single day going from 20 cents to 23 dollars per share congratulations to everybody that made money in that one i was not in it amc sitting at 534 at the close down four and a half percent today shiba inu coin eight eight hundred and fifty points per coin right now ticking sideways with no volume gamestop closed the day a little bit higher today it's uh twenty dollars and 81 cents 1.12 percent gains bitcoin coming down to sixteen thousand eight hundred and seventy right now 2.80 percent loss on the day nasdaq getting hit pretty hard losing one percent of the day bior therapeutics down to 1626 up slightly after hours uh ethereum shiba dogecoin and bitcoin all in the red sundial closing the day break even at 227 mullen auto 30 cents per share down three and a half percent cei six and a half per uh, cents per share the spy closing at 383.31 bbig 65 cents highcroft mining 48 cents 48 cents is pretty low uh, Netflix closing at 290.71. Terra Luna Classic 15,000 points per coin. QQQ 274.25. Ape sitting at 73.23 right now. Absolute wild volatility in the market, really across the board. But man, a lot of people very excited about the movement in Cosmos today. I've actually never seen a stock 100x in a single day. I thought it was wild what DWAC was doing last year when when it started, or beginning of this year, whenever it was, when it was running from like $12 to $150, $200, but going from $0.20 cents to $2 to, to $20 plus dollars per share is straight insanity. Uh, Richo, so early and almost off work. There you go, Chris. Rich, this is how much work sucks. I had the day off and ended up working my wife's business because she was sick. WTF, my goodness. Well, Rich, man, glad you could step up and somebody was able to help her out while she was sick, though, man. So you did right on that one. Day off. Never really turns into a day off, man, does it? Rich, I like the fact you stepped up, though. Uh, I got two days off work, then for two weeks, which I will still end up working somehow. It's all right, man. Not me again. No, what's going on, Pudgy? How you doing? Hey, bro, how's it going? Uh, Mappy GG, going pretty good. Which uh, Binance? So, Mappy GG, my honest thoughts on the Binance FUD is you can look at it two ways. You can become fearful of it, but you have to look at the facts. And the facts are, over $3 billion was withdrawn off of the Binance platform. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that, that Binance is going to collapse. It doesn't necessarily mean that Binance is in the same situation that FTX is in. 
but it does mean that $3 billion was withdrawn off the Binance platform. That means less revenue for Binance. It means, it means lower profits for Binance. It means less people are interested in cryptocurrency right now. People are fleeing the crypto space. That's not FUD. That's just, that's a fact. That's what it is. And, and if that scares you, it can turn into FUD, which is not bad, man. If it scares you and it's re you're ready to get out, well, okay, you make your decision. But don't just let the idea that other people are running make you turn and run too. Understand why they're running, and it makes sense. They're, they're fearful of decentralized exchanges and so on, and, and they're taking their money off of those platforms. It's a bear market, and they can't bear it anymore. Um, so I don't tend to look at it as FUD. I look at it as facts and make a decision based on it. Facts are money is leaving the Binance platform. Um, we don't know, right? Binance is not necessarily sharing all of their their finances with us so that we can make a, a great determination whether or not they are solvent or not. But without knowing that, that's speculation. What we do know, people are leaving and money is leaving the platform. So when you look at it in terms of what we do know, what we don't know, facts versus fiction and stuff like that, you can hopefully make a decision for you a little bit better. Uh, let's see. Clearbro, did you get to listen to the Gary? No, I did not listen to the Gary Gensler interview, man. Uh, very. I, I did not listen to it, so I, I don't know what was going on there. <laughs> Dude, I was actually busy. I, I did work out in between the live streams, and then... Um, I was watching. I was watching a lot of stuff with Cosmos, man. I was watching the stock run up, what it was doing. Because honestly, I've never seen anything like it. If you would have told me that that would have happened today, during the bear market that we're in, I'd have told you you're crazy, man. I would have told you you're crazy. I would have said that that's impossible. But it did. And you know what? It could still go up tomorrow. It could go up the next day. All of that good stuff. But but I have not seen. I've seen a crypto do it i've seen cryptocurrencies run up like this but i have not seen a, a company basically try to rug their investors by reverse splitting without filing anything with the sec and no press conferences and no pre-approval from shareholders or anything so they did a 25 for one reverse split really really inflamed investors and and they saw a sell-off from it was at eight dollars yesterday post split numbers Dropped to 20 cents this morning. A 90 per, 95, 98% loss in, in the value of the stock. And, and started opened up at this 2 to $3 range. And dude, you guys can see by this graph right here, it just ran from 20 cents. It was 23 cents pre-market. Weeble's a little bit messed up right here. But ran from 23 cents all the way up to $23. A 100x gain in a single day right here based on the pre-market numbers. Uh, you got people complaining about uh, taking the buy buttons away, taking their sell buttons away. It does seem to be coming back down after hours right now. Uh, just insanity, man. Insanity. So I, I was busy watching this today. I, I didn't see too much happen in, in terms of anything else. I, because, oh, darn it. It was supposed to be big when you guys looked at that there. But I, I haven't seen anything like that, man, so I don't want to watch it take place. Uh, cool. A little bit too much information, but finally grew up here and got insurance for my hernia surgery. A little, what? A little base? Oh, God. <laughs> yes, okay. Nah, bass. I got you. I got you, Chris, on that one. Knows it's going soon and wants to take me with it. Uh, but. So work almost done, so we good. There you go, Chris. There you go. And dude, nothing wrong. I'll listen, nothing wrong with that, man. So glad you're getting your stuff taken care of. For real, man. For real. I'm glad you're getting your stuff taken care of. Also, mama didn't raise no yeah. Good deal, Chris. Good deal. Mama raised a Chris. I like it. What is Cosmos? Well, I can look at it in two seconds here and show you a little bit more, Ben, but I, I believe it's just some sort of a pharmaceutical company or, or whatever that was heavily shorted and people, retail tried to jump on it. I think the short interest, I, I never really looked into it too much, but I think the short interest was somewhere around 700% that it was being reported, so people tried to short squeeze them. I don't know if shorts covered or not. It, seemingly, shorts don't have to cover these days, so that's what you got there. Boot out the... What? Sakesh? Sakesh, whatever the Sakesh is, boot out the Sakesh Rebels, I'll drink to that, let's do it, man, thank you very much, Pat, for the authorized hydration, I will absolutely drink to that as well. Ah, 
Dang, that's some high quality H2O. Patman, thank you very much for this super chat. Loving it right now. Yes, public stop trading on Cosmos Holdings. I could not buy. Dude, you listen, I'm I'm being serious with you guys. Uh it, it was halted on Weeble, right? With the circuit breaker halt. But if you guys don't have Weeble, you and you wanted to jump in on that, I wasn't gonna be chasing it after the ridiculous game that it had this morning. But if you guys wanted to jump into it, you could have bought all day, sold all day on Weeble. Look, even if you guys don't agree with payment for order flow and all of that stuff, dude, at least Weeble lets you put orders through. You know what I mean? You don't even you don't even have to make trades on there unless you want to do it on these trades that that Robinhood's shutting down and public shutting down. Um, but yeah, you could have traded all day on Weeble there. And and if you guys want a link in the description below, absolutely use it. Cosm squeeze, holy yeah, dude. I don't know if you saw it or not. I, I don't know if I'd be holding to the next day after a run like this, but Cosmos, man, C O S M was the ticker, and it's running a little bit after hours right now. Coming back slightly from the intraday highs that it was hitting, but running back up to twenty one eighteen at the moment. We will on the desktop here. I, I may have to shut down and reopen it. But this is incorrect. The 20 cents is incorrect. It was like 23 cents and change. This morning pre-market after the reverse split took place. For some reason, people continued buying after selling off ridiculously during the pre-market. Ran all day today. Going from 23 cents to $23. A 100 plus X gain. And the volatility is still absolutely ripping in after hours trade right now. Back down from 23.70 down to 18, which is what? A three, six, a five, almost $6 loss on 23, which is a 30% decline after hours. Back up $4, which is another basically 20 or 25% increase right here the volatility is still absolutely wild right now just be careful with it guys i don't i honestly don't know if shorts ever have to cover so don't necessarily consider the shorts covering but a 100 plus get 100 x gain not a 100 percent gain a 100 x gain since pre-market in that stock right there is insane man insane uh won't well, amc go to zero so i can close the account pk I actually don't know the answer if AMC is going to go to zero or not, but AMC does seem to constantly be and get hit pretty hard, man. AMC lost another 4.73% today, down 5 .34, $5.34, sorry, and uh, Ape also down today, hitting new lows, losing 9.72%. It's 73 cents per share right here. So Ape and AMC getting hit very hard today. Uh... Oh, that's Sterling Classic coming down. I thought that was Bitcoin throwing a big purple line on there. But yeah, overall hard day for the market. But my goodness, anybody in Cosmos did very good today. Uh, what's up, Trevor? What's going on, Paul? Paul, what's up, brothers? Gracie, gracie is a crazy gains. Absolutely, Crypto Greg. Those were very crazy gains. Weeble it is then. Well, you don't have to always trade on Weeble, right? But if you want to, it, Weeble didn't have a problem all day today. I, I was watching it for. I was watching it during the the break. Uh, it's still going up. Yeah, Gorilla. It's insane, man, isn't it? Still technically going up. Uh, listen, I don't know if it's going to continue going up, if, if it's done, but look at the daily chart here, okay? Look at this. And, and honest, honestly, it came down to here. That's at 32 cents. Let's get rid of this one. That's at 30 cents. It actually came down. Just put it there. It actually came down to here, pre-market. This is the previous low, a buck sixty-nine. It touched twenty-three cents down here at this line, pre-market today, and, and just blew by all of the previous highs in a single day. The day that a reverse split, it shoots up like this, and it shows here the reverse split one for twenty-five today, going and encompassing everything. Now, the crazy thing is, you know, it is running into resistance again here. Does it care? Nobody knows if it's going to fall off this resistance or, or what the deal is going to be. But absolute insanity watching it gain that in one day, man. One day. Look at this candle. Look at this candle. You don't get those those types of candles in, in normal stock. So, 
Congratulations to everybody. It's Sikesh. It's, oh, it's, it's, what? Successionist? Gotcha. I think. I still don't even know what that is, man. Sikesh? Thanks for the thanks for the tr thanks for the try there, Pat, on the help. It's so sus that every time something is really ripping, retail gets sent to the sideline with no buttons to work with. Outdoor smile, it is. That's why I'm hoping, man, that people were able to take advantage of it. E even if the stock runs up and quadruples again, man, it goes to a hundred dollars tomorrow. Tomorrow might be the day that nobody can take advantage of it. So if you were able to make some gains on it and take it a hundred x gain from this morning. Ah, uh, you you killed it. You killed it, man. Ah, uh, you owe Keith a fist bump. Outdoor, I need to find a way to cut through the bluing deeper. I don't know what bluing is. But, is Keith in here right now? I do owe Keith a fist bump. I gotta see if Keith is in here. Keith, are you in here, man? Uh, no, Weeble. Oh, no Weeble in the UK. Gotcha, Rich. Gotcha. Really? You don't have access to Weeble in the UK? That's hard to believe, man. Ah, uh, I see, Pudgy. Whatever the bluing is, Outdoor Smile. I have no idea what the bluing is. But he can't cut through it, apparently. Oh, man. I think that's absolutely crazy. I, I still, I get so, it's almost like exhilarating to, to watch a stock run like that. Patrick! Thank you very much for the super chat, Patrick says. Click! I'm beginning to learn that anything market-related as such usually means the opposite. For example, sketchy rebels are actually behaving like big bankers, kind of like a certain act that's supposed to reduce inflation. You know what? I Listen, I do 100% agree with you, and I don't know if, if it's necessarily this opposite mentality where the rebels you know starting to to act like bankers and stuff like that i almost think that it's it's when you get in this position of leadership when you get in this position of power you start to see what's possible you start to understand what you're capable of and in rebels essentially being in charge right uh, they've got a very strong following on Twitter. They've got everybody convinced that, that they are the saviors of the chain. They've got everybody looking to, to them to lead them to higher ground. They can exploit that. They can basically do whatever they want. The same way that everybody relies on the government to govern the country. The same way that everybody relies on a CEO or a corporation to produce profits and stuff like that. And these big banks to, to stimulate the economy and keep things going. There's that reliance. And that reliance draws power. And the power seeps into your mind and starts to say, Well, you know what, man? Sure. It started off as like this rebel thing where we were trying to gain power and we were trying to, to get that control and we were doing so on the behalf of the people. But once we got it and we realized what we were able to do with it, well, it almost seems inevitable that everybody that gets to that position does what everybody that has been at that position does. And so I don't know if it's necessarily opposite, man. I think that it's the influence. I think that it's the influence coming in and showing you, uh, which is crazy, man, because you know what? Honestly, happy caddy crypto, this dude, that dude being here forever, uh, me talking about Terra Luna Classic since May, all of the guys that, that ran Twitter accounts since May, you know, technically, if, if we started to play the idea and convince people that, well, you know what? The terror rebels have, have really only influenced two words of code. The people that were out there marketing Terra Luna Classic, bringing in hundreds of thousands of new views and new investors, it had nothing to do with the fact that terror rebels were the ones that were going to lead us into the future. It was the rallying of the troops that led us to where we are today, that picked us up off of the bottom and convinced people that there was a chance to make some money and therefore they invested into Terra Luna Classic. It, I, I truly believe, man, I truly believe if that was the narrative that was um, unanimously kind of pushed on Twitter, on, on YouTube and such... People would be doing the same thing. They would say, yes, man, 
we need to vote for a $500,000 community pool spend to make sure that these guys get compensated for what they have done and that they will continue to push Terra Luna Classic into the future and rally the troops and convince people that it is a an opportunity as opposed to a problem. Uh, and if we did that, man, you know, they would be like, oh, well, shoot, let's let's go for a $500,000 community spend for, you know, some of these guys out on Twitter and, and the other YouTube channels that were marketing Terra Luna. So I don't know if it's necessarily opposite in all of that, but I do think it's influence of, of kind of the power that people have over them. Still have you with my six cent average on 2150 of Crow. Planning on buying $200 more tonight. Also at a 200 on Lunk because why not? There you go, Arthur. Why not, man? You know, the, here's the why not, right? The why not is if you, one, believe that it will end up dying, or two, you can't handle a downturn or downswing. And, and I don't know how comfortable you are. I mean, if you've got a decent sized portfolio and stuff, Watching two hundred dollars swing is—it's not devastating, or it's not the end of the—it's not the end of really anything. But if you've got that kind of mentality, then yes, dude, you can swing through those and take your chance. If Terra Luna Classic ten twenty x is again, and you turn that into that two hundred into two thousand four thousand dollars, awesome. You know what I mean? If you don't. Well, shoot, dude, it was 200 bucks, and there's your why not. Out oh, there, did you see my video on Etching That Knife? Nah, I did not see it. Maybe Outdoor did. Oh, what up, bro? It's been a minute. TRG Toys, what's happening? It's such a great Friday in the market. Oh, cup of calls expired out of the money for 100% profit. Boom, baby. Frank hitting it nice today. Very good. Well said, bro. Patrick, thank you very much for the authorized hydration, and thank you very much for the well said. I like it. Crisp, man. I love it. Arthur with the one month member chat. I like it, Arthur. Thank you for the fun, good time so far, bros. Absolutely. Arthur, man. I like the fact that you got that little green, the new little green astronaut there. Um, but I will be saying thank you, dude, for being a member for one month. I absolutely hope to see that diamond bro next to your name one day and then we continue to have fun. Even if the market's down, right? You gotta, you can, you gotta distract yourself some way or or whatever to be here and remain here and, and be here when the gains do come in. Now, a while back though, something. Patrick, thank you for the super chat. Arthur, congrats. Have a hot dog, man. Arthur may not know how to eat a hot dog. Arthur, if you dip the hot dog in your favorite dip, after you're done dipping it, you shove it. One bite. That is how you have a hot dog. Man, Patrick, thank you very much. Arthur, thank you very much. Loving this afternoon late lunch, dude. Looking good, Pat. Thank you, guys. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what. Let's see if Cosmos is still running right now or not. So Arthur, get a little sticker for one month. Yeah, so you see Rich's, Rich's got that like bigger green, like puffy looking astronaut guy. Uh, Arthur's got that little Among Us looking astronaut guy. It, it does say bro on it, but it's extremely low, bo uh, extremely small. Both those are extremely small there. Uh, or are you saying like actual sticker? Which one are you talking about? You're talking like actual sticker? Uh, let's see what the stock's doing right now. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. man, down to 15 bucks after hours. Look at this. Look, this is this is not necessarily the end of the end of the world here, but Cosmos dropping from 23 down to 15, man, losing heavy ground after hours here. So anybody that listen, if you played that trade, you may have played it perfectly. If anybody that played Cosmos today is seeing this, and you did end up playing it perfectly, okay? Do not begin to think that your next play is going to be perfect as well, all right? You you did amazing. You killed it. But don't get this don't get this idea that you're going to kill every single play and then go bet the farm and and you know, do anything on the next one. So Cosmos looking to come back down below $15 per share right now. Looking like it's getting hit pretty heavy there. My God, what a wild day. We'll come back and check that out in a second. Uh, let's see. Chris, man, thank you very much. The Super Chat Chris says, What's the little green guy by people's names? Yeah, Chris, nobody knows, dude, because you've got you've got that diamond, baby. You've got that diamond. 
No, Chris, the little green guy. It's just like a little a little astronaut. So, uh, sis, bro, she she made some little designs a long time ago when I first started these things, and and she had like a little bro astronaut went to the moon. What was a, a thing, and she made some of those. So I made him the sticker, and, and that's the guys that are around for less than one month, right? They get that little that little blue guy next to it, or the little green guy next to it, and then um, then it upgrades to the next little green astronaut guy. So that's kind of, of what you're looking at right there. It's just a little green astronaut that was the whole to the moon bro type of a thing. You can't see the bro on it, but it does say bro on it and stuff like that. Uh, my internet playing up again. Clay is speaking like a Doctor Who style. I'm going to have to watch this all back. Oh my gosh, man. Maybe it's my microphone messing up, dude. Might not be your internet. Who knows? Chris, aliens, man. They're all aliens. I like my stay puff. Oh, you, you like your puffy little astronaut, huh? Well, good. Rich, he's going to turn into that other astronaut here after a month, but good. I'm glad you like it right now. Stay puffy astronaut. Oh, boy. I'm almost afraid to look at Cosmos and see where it's at right here. Cosmos, it's bouncing back to 1545 right now. The volatility is still in play, but down 30% after hours right now. Wild, 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 wild activity, man. Dropping from 23 down to 15. And, and hey, this could come all the way back down to 5 bucks. It could come all the way back down to 5 bucks here. So I, I can't even watch it right now. We'll click back on it in a second and see what goes on there. My goodness, I cannot wait. Here's the thing. We're, we're most likely not going to be seeing gains like that in in everything, okay? That was, it's not a normal gain for any stock to ever, ever have take place. But when the bull market returns and, and crypto has been beaten down to the bottom, and, and these these small cap stocks have been beaten down to the bottom, Gains like this, gains like this right here, it may be a yearly graph. This may be an annualized graph, okay? Not a single day. Or it may be a three-month graph, not a single day. But this is the kind of stuff that we can expect during a bull market. It just might not be as volatile and take place in one day. And look right now, a 36% decline taking place after hours with, with Cosmos at 1477. This is what I want everybody to be able to do is, is sit here and hit a gain like this. So my goodness, just know that gains are possible. Little green Elons. Yeah, they're technically little green Elons. Uh, let's see, where do we go? My goodness. Clay, where was the chatter about Cosm pre squeeze Oh, it was out there, Gorilla. It was out there. They actually started on Twitter, okay? And then, ah, oh, gosh. Teddy Zane, if you guys know who Teddy Zane is, he's been talking about Cosmos for a very long time. Not, I don't know, actually, I don't know how long, but I know he's been talking about it since the bottom, right? When it was around six to seven cents. Uh, like a month ago or so. Um, guys on Twitter were talking about it and, and talking about the 700% the short interest that was out there on it. And, and then it ended up running last week, right? So if you're looking at this graph right here and you can see the daily, this is, this is really when I would say it started to pick up on, on people's radar was in this area right in here, and maybe after this little green spike up from a buck sixty to to two fifty, two eighty, um, because people like the gains, right? They like a little bit of confirmation, and they got a little bit of confirmation right here. Now they were, so I don't know when that was, beginning of November. Let's say the beginning of November is is really when I would say it started. And, and people began to kind of buy in maybe in this area right in here. Now, since then, this is a daily graph, okay? It did very well. And pre-split, it ran up. This was 6.5 cents. Divide everything by 25 that you're seeing. This was like 6.5 cents. Ran up to 88 cents during this little peak here. Gave back everything, and then pre-market today dropped down to this little line right here. And I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I have no idea why it shot up the way that it did today. I have no idea why it shot up the way that it did today. 
which just tells you that it's probably not sustainable. If you can't explain it, and, and you're going to have guys like Teddy Zane telling you that they can explain it. It's a short squeeze, shorts are covering, all of that. Uh, you're going to have the guys out on Twitter, even Lou, Lou versus Wall Street and, and Ape Father. They were talking about Cosmos and, uh, you know, as being a huge short squeeze play. Um, so they're gonna they're gonna convince everybody that this is the shortest this is the short squeeze this is the Moaz you know all of that that's going on, but if you can't explain uh, a graph like this, and you have never se- I've never seen a graph like this where where it goes from twenty three cents to twenty three dollars in a single day with everybody basically being tapped out of their of any stop loss that they would have had. And and then jumping back in and and allowing it to ride to twenty three bucks today, um, I don't know, man. I'm not trying to hate on on anything, but I don't know if I necessarily believe that shorts will be forced to cover after seeing things like Meta Materials preferred stock and and all of the the nonsense that we've got out there. Phenomenal gain, right? And if anybody is considering taking it. The fourteen dollars down thirty five, thirty six percent after hours right now, is is incredible that that you would have had. Gosh, I was supposed to be big stock again. Hopefully you saw it in the bottom there. Very sorry if you didn't. But it, the chatter was out there, man. The chatter was out there. Did you see the new jobs data? The Fed's estimate jobs created was off by one point two million. This would have influenced the decision on interest rates. Oh God, dude. Uh you know what? I don't know how heavily. They looked at the jobs data for their interest rate decision. They have been talking about slowing the interest rate hike. And I don't know if you're saying that it was 1.2 million uh, jobs, like the the, S, the the previous numbers were 1.2 million low, so we added an, an additional 1.2 million, or if the other ones were high and, and we came in and actually added 1.2 million lower, that would mean the labor market is worse off than they said it was. Uh, I I don't know if that would have necessarily affected the interest rate decision because they did say they wanted to start slowing those hikes as early as December. But it is something that they look at, so it very well could have could have caused them to make their decision. Crazy thing is tons of coins do that in the bull run. Crypto Greg, almost everything, worthless or not, does that in the bull runs, dude. So it, look, if we gotta wait our turn, we gotta wait our turn, but. I'm telling you, man, it, it, that kind of stuff makes you nervous. If it happens over a longer period of time, you, you're kind of, you know, you're kind of okay. You get a little bit used to it. But when you see something going on like that, I'll tell you, man, it, it makes your blood pump. Like, like that's what I was watching today, and it makes your blood pump. Now get a sticker with your design, place on metal, paint over it with about one inch around it. After it dries, remove sticker. I know I, I gotta I had to have missed something on that. Clay, just cause I thought about it, they say if you teleport, you're going through time and space. Say at 430, you're here, then teleport to Florida before 430 ends, and then you just go through space. <laughs> True, Chris, but that wouldn't necessarily be an immediate teleport. That would be a travel right that would be traveling an actual teleport would be instant right so technically you're not bound by time at that point you're talking about being able to move really fast speed is what you're talking about the time still moves but you're just very very fast so you're kind of like the flash being able to go from here to florida in in less than a minute essentially teleporting would be immediate time and space are you are no longer bound to oh uh, what a crazy market crypto very shady market very crazy market almost said shady market but that's your name crypto shady uh you think it was short out you talking um rich you talking the the stock there cosmos vinch's battery charger i have no idea what's going on guys Wait, did you get my address? Yes, so Ronald, I, I did. I screenshotted it, man. I, I didn't want you to send it, like, actual through Twitter. You could have DM'd it to me or asked me to follow you to get that, to, to DM it. But I do have your address, yes. I'm curious. Who the heck's... AMC Trapper, I'm going to tell you this, man. A lot of people, 
a lot of people. He deleted, I think, everything on his YouTube channel. I looked it up yesterday or the day before. And, and he has literally no videos on his YouTube channel. Everything has been either made private or, or deleted because it says that there's no content on his YouTube channel. But, dude, he's very it's very strange, right? He makes a new account like every week or something. He, he deletes the old one and makes a new one every week and these people find him. Dude, there are thousands of people who, who basically hang on every word that he says. He did a very good job of, of developing a very strong cult-like following with the people out there on Twitter. Um, he can make an account tonight, and, and he'll have like 3,500 followers tomorrow morning on the back of two tweets. So I don't know who they are, but there are people that, that follow everything Lou says, man. See. The new battery charges won't turn on unless it recognizes a battery in it. That's why I say vintage. I have no idea what's going on. Yo, bro, have a great day, uh, good weekend. You too, Dave. Enjoy your weekend, man. Uh, let's see here. No trick, bro. Nothing is a trick, Trapper. Is this a trick question? Could be. Is let's see, Trapper's question uh, on who still follows Lou? Maybe I'd invest a little by a little at this point. How about some more likes, peeps? Listen to Ronald and click the like button. He's just entertaining. No, no, it's crazy. Yeah, dude, I think that, I, and I don't know, I don't know why they follow him, right? I, I really don't watch loose content or anything, you know, simply because it is pretty explicit, but, um, yeah, I don't know, I don't know the reasoning they follow him or anything, or, or who it is that follows him and stuff like that, but I do know that he's got a very strong following. He's got a very, very strong following. Uh, let's see, Common Sense Investor, yeah, that's another one, Quantum Physics, watch some um, Quantum Leap, yes, I was Cosmos something, you were in Cosmos, Rich, you were in Cosmos, are you saying, let's still travel in through space and time, a more catered to time travel, or rather than teleportation, now is it, Kalani, is it, I hate, I hate time travel, guys, I've heard bad things about Lou, hey man, bad things, good things, look, I, I, I'm not trying to talk crap about anybody on here, I don't necessarily like the language that, that Lou uses, I, I do think that it's pretty explicit, uh, it's not something that you'd be able to watch with your, with your mom or anything like that, uh, but nonetheless, man, I, I don't necessarily like to talk bad about anybody, so, Yes, I, I don't understand. I don't understand the, the following, but hey, man, there's a lot of things in life that I don't have to understand that I just let go. Because if I try to rack my brain trying to understand them, what, am, what do I gain from that? Is finance with the cash on hand or not? What's your gut say? <sighs> Dave, I'll say this, man. My gut says yes, Binance does have the cash on hand, okay? That's what my gut says. But but I really don't know, man. I really don't know. Um, Binance has been around basically since the beginning. Binance is one of the largest. Uh, it, Binance, people are leaving Binance, okay? But my gut says yes. But what the heck does my gut know, man? What the heck does my gut know? And that's not necessarily me basing that on, um, like the audit and me believing CZ Binance and, and things like that. It, it's just simply that my gut does say yes that that Binance does have the the funds that they claim to have, and that if people were to go withdraw them, they would have or be able to get those funds if they needed to transfer some cryptocurrency around in case they were holding a little bit too much of a stable coin as opposed to a Bitcoin and things. So my gut does say yes, dude, but who the heck cares about my gut, right? Uh, let's see. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. Wait, needs a teleportation device because time travel creeps him out because of the potential ramifications of the time-space continuum fund. Thank you very much. It is true, man. It is true. I really, look, dude, you could go back, and that is exactly the reasoning too, Pat. I could go back to, to, to yesterday, and 100x my money in Cosm today. And and that might not be as bad, okay? That might not be as, as bad of a time travel. Or if I could go back to 3 o'clock in the morning today, 
technically, I would want to go back to a little bit previous to 3 o'clock. I, I would want to go back like two days to make sure I had settled funds and all of that stuff in, in, in the quantity that you would want to invest. But let's just say you did go back 48 hours, 72 hours. You had all your settled funds. That's not necessarily the worst of the time travels that could take place. So maybe like a, a one out, one day loop or something to uh, to be able to live through there wouldn't be as as scary. But dude, if you're talking going back to 2010 and trying to jump in Bitcoin when it was at nothing, there's there's not a chance I would do that, man. There's not a chance that I would do that. Going back 24 hours, yeah, I'd probably go back 24 hours, but not a chance I'd go back. Uh, a whole decade or anything like that. Uh, wow, we got a lot of super chats coming in here, guys. Uh, Bill and all you guys that sent some bigger ones, copy and paste, get your stuff in again because I'm going to jump up on these super chats right here. Outdoor smile. Thank you very much for the super chat. I don't know, dude. I actually don't know if I've got anything usable in this right here man i don't know if i've actually got anything usable in this thank you very much out dope no nope, this one i need a little a little bit more heft out dope, bro man thank you very much for the super chat we got the king juggler right here appreciate the super chat on that one this is it's not easy when everything weighs different amounts man but thank you very much for the King Juggler. Appreciate that, Aldo, bro. Loving it right there. That one I actually can do, man. Hey, comment about Lou makes me wonder. Not judging or hating, but what's your thing with cussing? Some reason. No, 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 man. It's not necessarily just cussing, but Lou is like, Lou is vulgar with his cussing. I, I don't think that you need to use that many adjectives in your in your discussion of things. There's a difference, man. I like I I don't I don't use bad words or anything that, that you wouldn't want to use around your kids, your mother, and stuff like that, and, and try to keep it as respectful as possible. And I do view it as, as a form of respect, right? Not trying to talk dirty or or, or having to say some, something and, and that your mom's not going to want you to hear, your kid, you're not going to want your kids to hear, and stuff like that. Um, so I tend not to try and listen to as much as that stuff, but it's literally every other word when when Lou's trying to describe something and I don't think that that's necessary you know what I mean I just think it's a a, a slight form of disrespect when you when you talk like that but it's not like dude it's not like it's the end of the world right there are definitely things that are worse than that I just try not to to do it because I it's, if it's something that I wouldn't do man in front of my nephew or if it's not something that I wouldn't do in front of my mom or or somebody else I try not to do it, right? Loretta, thank you very much for the super chat. I like your plain speak, and it's Friday. Thank you very much, Loretta, my plain speak. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And it is Friday. It is Friday. That is a positive. That is a that is a fact. It is Friday. It's Friday night. The weekend is about to start here. Looking good. <laughs> Budgie, man, thank you very much. for. I don't even know what to do here. Like, come on. about that man that was me coming out of my turtle shell punchy man thank you very much for the super jet oh you have juggling skills do you Ooh, now i'm gonna have to go buy some balls at, at this store so you guys can send some more juggling super jet if you go back too far you get messed it up even more that's what i'm talking about rich i would never do it man i would never i would go back 24 hours yes i, I think that you could make a, a useful game out of that one right there but 10 years, no, not going to happen. I don't know what the maximum is either that I would, would be willing to go back. Any balls, dude? I do need balls, man. Clippers as clean as they come. Here's a baby. Don't smoke. Don't drink. Don't curse. You know what? I mean, you are right, AMC Trapper. I don't know if I'm as pure as a baby or, or anything like that. I do try to lead a you know, respectful life or whatever and, and that stuff. But... And that's... Honestly, guys. Honestly. That's not me sitting here saying... If you drink, if you smoke, if you curse or whatever, you're a terrible person. Please do not think that I'm trying to say that. That's the lifestyle that, that I'm trying to pursue 
you guys can do whatever you want with it. But I don't want anybody to think that I'm like, ah, oh, you're you're a bad dude or anything. Please, 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 don't take it out out of context or anything like that. The dip and shove is not cursing. The dip and shove is not cursing, man. The dip and shove is fun. Arthur, number one fan, number one fan, number one fan, number one fan, number one fan. Arthur, man, thank you very much for the number one fan. Oh yes, and peak of power. Thank you very much for the super chat. Sorry, I've been missing so many. I can't stay, but I wanted to wish you and all the true bros a great weekend. Oh, and we are going to have a beautiful, beautiful... Oh, look at that unicorn. Ooh, a little double unicorn horn right there. Yes! Ooh, with the curl, too? Pika, this one's for you. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Pika, thank you very much for the King Unicorn. Loving it, and I also hope that you have a great weekend as well. Next, Love and Otto, what's going on, King Turtle? Rich like the King Turtle. Oh, that's Clay. It's never financial advice, but always great advice to all of us. You're the ones to lose any, uh, never wants anyone to lose. Come on, how can, uh, how can anyone hate? Arthur, it's easy to hate, dude. It is easy to hate, especially on the internet. You can go on on Twitter, man. You can see so much hate every single day. If you just want to spend five minutes on Twitter, uh, and that is never something that I would want to perpetuate in this area or anything like that. Even with with different lifestyles and different agreements and stuff like that, I would never really want somebody else to, to hate anybody else in here, myself included. Um, that's what I'm saying, dude. I, you know, I don't watch Lou. I don't agree with the way that Lou does videos and, and all of that stuff. But, dude, it doesn't mean that somebody else isn't going to watch him. You know what I mean? And I don't mind if they watch him. Uh, it's just not something that I want to do. Pika, thank you for the congrats on the on t-shirt. The I was driving and couldn't say thanks. Heck yeah, next level. Hey, Clay, what effect will the new proposal have on Lunk? And how long will it take to get Lunk to a reasonable price? Because it's only going lower. So, ESKO, hopefully, if you're talking about the 11030, the one that passed in and gave... um. $150,000 to the Terror Rebels. If you're talking about that one, hopefully it has a positive effect, okay? Hopefully it does uh, one thing and, and encourages actual development. Actual work gets done. It's not going to be the only spend. It, it is going to... It's, it's going to lead to more spending proposals, many, many more spending proposals, increasing in dollar amount every time and, and as people get used to spending $150,000 per proposal they get used to spending $150,000 every couple of weeks uh, you know we're going to see $250,000 on the board $350,000 on the board half million dollars on the board million dollars on the board as, as the community pool and as Terra Luna Classic grows so it's going to have that effect that it's going to become the norm now hopefully the positive effect is that growth happens and building happens the negative effect that could also take place, if, if if the positive effect is not, is that just because we continue to uh, have this tax on transactions and the community pool continuously gets funded, we may not see actual growth. We may just see work orders coming out. And, and think about it like a, a city budget, man. Uh, you know, I want to pave this new road over here. I want to build a playground over here. I want to put a, a community rec center up over here. I want to, I think the park needs a new pond. I want to dig out a pond for the park. Um, you could have all of these different proposals going on that literally make no sense for actual growth in the community. But people see that you got a, a $50 million community spend, community budget, and everybody wants their little piece of it to, to well, there's a pond, man. Give me a half million dollars to dig a pond. Uh, let's repave this road right here. We're in the construction business. Let's repave this road. Give me a half million dollars to, to repave this road. You know, whatever. I hope it doesn't turn into that. That would be the negative factor is that it's just being spent to spend money and, and, and for other people to earn money. It has to be some sort of a cohesive growth that takes place. 
Air Horse. He transitions into your laugh so well. well. Dude, it makes you laugh, outdoor smile. I think that's why the transition is so natural. It's because it makes you laugh when you go, <laughs> it's just, it's crazy. Who do you think the final stand will release channel seeing Doge didn't hit a dollar in 2022? Oh my god. Crypto Shady. I actually think that I, I would have to go back. I actually think that I may have screenshotted that at some point. Screenshotted that tweet at some point. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I do not. Okay. I do not think that he will, that he will stand by his final stand on that one. I do, however, think that there will be people who, who challenge him to delete it. And we'll see what he does on that. Cause I'll say this, man. I think that the people who are currently watching his videos and, and the people who currently support him would support him if he created a new channel. If he deleted this one and created a new channel, he'd still get the very same, if not very similar amount of views that, that he currently gets. It would just be growing beyond, you know, I don't even know how many he's got. He's got a couple hundred thousand subscribers, right? And like a million Twitter followers or something crazy. Uh, he would still get a similar level of support. I just think that it's, I don't think he'll do it. I don't think he'll do it. He's got a big, he's got a big channel. Much love on this Friday. Nice low price of buy day. Scoop up some crypto tonight and be safe, everyone. Absolutely, Arthur. Definitely be safe, everybody. 100%. Boom. It's true, right? It is, man. It seems like After Hours is spicy right now on stocks. Ape and Cosm. Uh, let's see what After Hours is doing. I did not see it on Ape After Hours. Up, uh, up slightly, 3%. Let's see where Cosmos is at, man. Cosmos getting destroyed after hours right now. Down 45%. Coming back down to 1280. My gosh, touching 1160 after the run that we had uh, during the day today. Cosmos going from 280 during the during the market hours, 20 cents during pre-market hours, all the way up to $23.70 before dropping down to where it's currently at at $13 per share. So Cosmos giving up a lot of its gains, man. A lot. Oh, just go big. There it is. You guys can see it on this one. I can't believe that I keep forgetting to click on the the stocks there. Yeah, after someone drops a few customers in a few minutes, a big turn off. You're right. It's the, it, You know, uh, that's just the way I view it. Right, Loretta? That's the way I think about it. You can use adjectives, but those don't necessarily need to be your adjectives that you use. And I understand that people use them to emphasize their point. I just don't think that it's necessary to emphasize their point that way. Uh, boom! And just like that, my break's over. Pika, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for being in here. And, and yes, being respectful of your break and all that stuff. I can't stand it when people are, are hounded and micromanaged. Don't get me started on all of that. But I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do, Pika. And, and I truly hope that you guys, you have a great weekend. And don't get in trouble. It'll be okay. Pink, we have a private laptop fun going on for you. That we do, man. That we do. I'm buying a Trump NFT after the initial dip. Outdoor smile. Look, I'm not going to try and get into some huge conversation about that and, and make anybody mad or anything that, that doesn't like the Trump NFTs. But, dude, I've seen a bunch of crap on Twitter all day today about it. And I, I saw everybody ripping on them yesterday. And I don't know what these funds are going to be used for, if they're going to be used for campaign funds that he's raising his own money and stuff like that. But, dude, 12 hours, it it sold out. And I believe it was like $45 million raised on that NFT sale. And I don't know where the prices currently are. I don't know where the floor is at. I know everything was $99 to, to get those NFTs and those trading cards there. But, it, it, dude, it truly does seem that's the kind of stuff, let me put it this way, regardless of whether you like him or not, that's the type of stuff that makes trading cards sought after, okay? That's that following, that you need that following. And there's a very strong following. So no matter what side of the room you're sitting on right now, it has a following. It has a, a, a just a vast amount of people that will support it until the end of time, and you know it. There's there's no denying that they will continuously supporting it, whether you believe it's blindly supporting or not. They will support it, and and it is truly it's an opportunity for for people to make some money, man, because it's an NFT project that, in all honesty, I would say could have done better 
than Board Ape Yacht Club if it would have came out two years ago or or a year and a half ago when Board Ape Yacht Club did because it would have had more initial support and, and more initial attention than than those uh, NFTs did. Uh, let's see. Patrick, thank you very much for the super chat. You have a much better temperament than I do, Clay. Here's to you, uh, Dilly Dilly. Thank you very much for the drink, Pat. I don't know if temperament, I don't know if that necessarily indicates um, just like simply emotional control or something. I will say this, Pat. I am, I'm not just some sort of like some subdued dude, subdued dude that, that is, oh yeah, everything's good. I, I have my emotions, right? And I do try to control my emotions and my thoughts and my, uh, my presence, I guess, and the way I present myself. But it doesn't necessarily mean I've got a better temperament than you do, right? I, I, I am you have to actively try sometimes to, to control your thoughts and, and your, your mind and what you want to say and all of that, man. No give away. Wow. Dude, I'm going to be honest with you. AMC Trapper, I had no idea that it was 457 already. Guys, let's just, let's do it, man. Let's, I have no, I had no idea it was 457. I have no idea where the last 57 minutes went. Holy crap. Uh, yes. Do the, you guys know the drill. I'm not going to explain it. If you don't know the drill, you can't win if you don't live in the United States. Spam the chat right now, man. Spam the chat right now. AMC Trapper saving you guys on that one because I had literally no idea that it was so late in the day already. My gosh. Let's get it done, man. Let's get it done. Spam the chat, guys. We'll be doing this giveaway right now. I want to see the chat rolling. I'm going to click on the three dots on the right-hand side of the screen. I'm going to pin a message to the top of the screen. If you win, you get a t-shirt. I may not have any extra larges or larges left right now. I or extra larges or two extra larges left. It may only be small, medium, and large at the moment. If that is the case, you will have to wait until the next shipment goes out. Sorry about that. That's just the way that it's going to be, but I, I got to set that out there. If you have a diamond next to your name and you're guaranteed a shirt, you get to pick. If you want to choose who wins or, or if you want me to pick again. But it, you guys know the rules. You've been in here. Spam in the chat. Let's make this happen and let's see who gets this shirt right here. All right. We're going to see it go. It's going to go. It's going to go. It's going to go. All right. Chat is starting to roll right there, guys. Well, let it roll a little more. Don't be afraid to spam that chat. And let's see who wins this shirt right here. I don't even see the chat really moving right now, guys. What are you doing? Just spam the darn chat. There we go. Is it rolling? I don't even know if it's rolling. Uh, I'm going to close my eyes. Hopefully it starts rolling. If it doesn't start rolling, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to count 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Click. Got him. Got him. We're going to see who gets him. King Mamba right there. King Mamba got that one. King Mamba winning it. And and King Mamba, dude, you are uh you don't have that one year membership. Perfect on that one. So King Mamba, you're the winner. Um I did see earlier, King Mamba, that, that you required a 2x or a 3x, okay? So I'm going to be completely honest with you, dude. You're going to have to bear with me. I highly doubt that that I'm able to get that out tomorrow, okay? I'm going to have to go to the store and get it. Uh, I will also be honest with you. If I go to the store and order it, which I most likely will, I'm not 100% sure if they have three X's. So if it's a two, I will try my best to to get like a, you know, a classic fit or, or whatever, not some sort of a slim fit 2X, but like a classic fit 2X to, to make that happen right there. So... If you're good on that, King Mamba, just make sure that you let me know where I can send it to in in Discord. I, I know you're on Discord there. So message me on Discord. Let me know where I can send it. And please, just double, just confirm the size with me and, and all of that stuff. 
I most likely won't be able to get that out tomorrow because I'm going to have to go to the store and and get another 2X as, as I've, I've already got all those out there. So, guys, nonetheless, man, AMC Trapper saving the day on the giveaway right there. Appreciate that. King Mamba winning the chat on that one. Um, guys, get your names in the chat right now. We'll do the shout outs and then we will, we'll be back tonight with videos at 7 p.m., videos at 8 p.m. I'm, I'm almost begging you guys at this point, get some friends to subscribe to the channel, watch it. And if you, if it's not just my channel either, if you guys like guys like Andre Jick, Meet Kevin, uh, Masked Investor, gosh, Matt Kors, whoever else does these videos right now, views are so low in the finance space. Please, you know, throw a get your tablet out, throw a playlist up, and, and literally help anybody out that you want to help out with all that stuff. Because it, I mean, it hurts, man. It hurts seeing views go down so low and being like seventy percent lower than they were in the past. So click that like button, click uh, comment on the videos, get the algorithm going, and all that good stuff. And Rich, thank you for the super chat. Rich says, "Coffee for the road. Have a good weekend, dog." Thank you very much, Rich, for the super chat. delicious man make some fake emails you can make some fake emails if you want to as well but dude if you got a tablet running or a computer running throw it up on the screen and let it, it doesn't have to be my channel either man just let it play pad the views a little bit and uh and help these guys out that are out there making videos every day king mom but shout out to you crypto greg raul see you later man outdoor raul we got pat rich mason hodel oh uh, hodel yes uh raul hodel matt matt hodel raul 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 amc trapper saying peace out of the diamond head apes man hodel see you later pat 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 old rounder see you later gorilla invictus have a great weekend as well rich oh man gorilla invictus see you later hodel we got rich oh peace out to you and all of you guys, you know what time it is? Tim, thank you very much for the super chat. Just got home. Perfect timing. It is perfect timing, man. <laughs> Tim, dude, have a great weekend. My goodness, thank you very much for the King Turkey on that one. This is how we know we are near the... Hold on, it is true, man. It is true. Uh, we can go even lower, right? I agree that you never know for sure what's going on, but it does feel like you're getting near a, a low there. TRG, to any, any personal recommendations to YouTube? Yeah, man, there's a lot of good guys out there that I like. Here's my personal recommendations, though. Figure out who you like. And that's not me just trying to blow off the question. I like guys like, like Graham Stevan and Meet Kevin and, and Andre Jick. They obviously are, you know, sort of role models is, is being some of the bigger guys in the finance space, each with their own different style of doing videos, whether or not it's pure content pushing, uh, you know, like Meet Kevin or, or a lot more of the edits that Graham Stephan and, and Andre Jick do out there. And then you've got guys that are just busting it every day, man. Mast Investor, smart kid. He's out there busting it every day. Lottery stocks, you know, small channel. Kid busting it every day, though. I like to see people working hard and, and talking about what they're passionate about. So completely whatever you guys are into and what you like and your style and things like that. You got to find it, man. You got to find it. And what I like, you may not like as well. Uh, and it may not resonate with you the same way it does for me. So check out all those guys. Uh, nonetheless, man, Pudgy2, yes, Pudgy, TRG, Rich, Hodel, Pudgy, see you later, Rich, Tim, Lime and Dave. We got TRG, King Mom, just message on Discord. I'm going to be going to, I'm not 100% sure about TikTok, King Mom, but I do still have to record a video tonight. Um, so I am going to be slightly busy if I do end up doing some TikTok stuff. I, I still got to get a video recorded for tonight and stuff, which I may end up talking about Cosmo here since it was basically what I was watching all day. See you later, Rich Patrick. Nice, King Mamba. Here you go, baby. King Mamba, you got a little hot dog. You know how to, you know how to dip it, and you know how to shove it. You got a banana. You peel that banana. You know how to lick it, and you know how to stick it. Thank you very much. And, of course, you've got a little authorized hydration, King Mama. Take a drink with us. Perfect, man. Pat, thank you very much for the super chat. Raul, we'll see you later. PK, all of you guys, you know what time it is, man. You want to say it with me? Say it with me. Until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.